for breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing much. It's the hardest thing to do is to have someone who's looked after you all of your life when you've been growing up and suddenly find that they cannot uh, function as they have done and have to put them into someone else's care. Uh, it's never a great position to be in for anyone but you know it's been their best um, yeah. Still, my dad, and I recognise him, and um, um, you know, I want to tell him all about the things that I've been doing and about you know things from the past and things that we did together. But uh, he doesn't really have a recollection of that, so I end up having to just really change the type of things that I'd say to him, and we just talk about things that are happening right now or things that he can um, connect to without having to um, go back into his memories to. To, to think about. So we, we, we talk about sport, we talk about the weather. A great sense of imagination and he was very creative. Um, you wouldn't really have known that to look at him, but he was actually very creative and had, had, um, had uh, lots of really good ideas, so I suppose. Growing up with someone um, been in your life all that time. Um, there's many, many memories. Um, my recollection or, or memories of mum has always been someone who's been dependable and is a true mother who looks after the family, 